All right, so today I'm going to show you how to properly insert your new PlayStation 5 SSD inside of the PS5, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. Let's get to it. Hello, everyone. Today we have this crucial T500 Pro. This is a 7300 megabyte Gen 4. It also comes with a five-year warranty, which is awesome. Now, this is specifically made for the PS5, and you want to make sure that the one that you get comes with a heat sink because that's always very important because you're going to be putting it in a smaller place. It's not a computer with a bunch of fans. It is a PS5, so you need to make sure you have the heat sink. It's just going to help with your temperatures overall, especially if you have a higher speed like this one. This one is rated, like I said, 7,300 megabytes per second up to, so that's very important to note. And this is the Gen 4 NVMe M.2 SSD. And we're this, this is the one we're going to be installing today. Now let's go ahead and show you how to actually get this inside your PS5. All right, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install this thing. Let's get to it. All right, so first things first, you wanna make sure that you have the disk drive facing your top left. If you have a diskless drive, you wanna make sure it's facing this same way. Now, all you're gonna do is be forcefully pulling the bottom right and sliding it right to the left of you. I'll show you how easy it is to do. Now, today I'm using a smaller than normal Phillips head because it seems to fit the screw. So if you have a smaller Phillips, that's what you want. A Phillips might even work. I just haven't tried it with it. Let me know if you if it does, and we're obviously using the crucial SSD here. Now we want to, like I said earlier, want to pull the tab forcefully and then slide it right to the left. It's going to come right off. It's very easy to do, guys. It might take a couple tries to get used to it, but once you get it down, it's no problem at all. Now we want to use our Phillips head and get this screw out. And we want to make sure we don't drop it in the fan here. Or you're going to have a pretty bad time. All right, once we take this off, you're going to see these four holes and there's going to be a screw on side of a standoff or on top of a standoff and we want to take that off and we want to measure our SSD. So it's going to go right here on the fourth hole. So go ahead and take the screw off here. Put the bottom small bracket in the fourth hole. This is what it looks like. Now we're going to put the SSD in towards this way. This is going to be facing the green side and you want to visually inspect to make sure you get it in there properly. Once it's in, you want to secure it off with the screw. You're going to put it in there on the standoff that we put in there earlier. Now we just want this finger tight. We don't have to worry about tightening this too crazy. Just finger tight is good enough. Now we put this back on and go ahead and get your screw. Again, finger tight is all you need. Now we can put the top back on, make sure the disk drive is facing the top left. And this is where it's gonna go in. There's gonna be holes all over the top, but mainly you just wanna put it and level it like it's already gonna be on there normally and then you're going to slide it to the right and it's gonna go right in there. And there you go, guys. You've installed your first SSD in your PS5. Good job. Now, let's go ahead and I will show you how to format this drive. All right, so all that's left is as soon as you turn on your PS5, this will pop up instantly. You're gonna go over to the right and format the M.2 SSD. 
That's all you're gonna do. Now it's gonna format. It's gonna quickly reach 100%. And here you go. All right, guys, so there you have it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, give me one of these. And if you wanna pick up an SSD for yourself, I'll leave it in the description below. That's about all I have on this one. Thanks for watching and have a good day.